In this video, we'll provide detailed steps on how to determine the lack of refrigerant in refrigerators effectively within 3 minutes, without the need for using pressure gauges, and without directly intervening with the equipment. Follow these steps. 1. Let's begin by stating that the essential tools for initiating diagnostics in refrigeration equipment are the amperometric clamp and the digital thermometer with a probe. 2. The amperometric clamp allows us to measure the electrical consumption of a unit without intervening directly. We'll use an external power cable to measure current and compare it with the regular current consumption. 3. If the equipment is lacking refrigerant, one of the symptoms will be a decrease in electrical consumption measured by the amperometric clamp. 4. With the equipment turned on and after several minutes, compare the value measured by the amperometric clamp with the regular consumption of the unit. If the clamp's value is lower, it may indicate a lack of refrigerant. 5. With the help of the precision probe thermometer, focus on the evaporator. Measure temperatures between its inlet and outlet. A significant difference above 10 to 15 degrees indicates a lack of refrigerant. 6. The difference between the temperature at the inlet and outlet of the evaporator should be low, usually not more than 5 degrees, when the equipment has sufficient refrigerant. 7. Take a temperature measurement at the compressor discharge and compare it with the temperature at the condenser inlet. 8. The temperature at the compressor discharge should be higher than at the condenser inlet. However, if the difference between these temperatures is considerable, around 10 degrees or more, it may be another characteristic of refrigerant shortage. 9. Visually check for the absence of oil marks, likely indicating a leak. Additionally, remember that an unobstructed capillary tube, working correctly, should not exhibit external freezing. 10. With these three symptoms, reduced electrical consumption, high temperature difference in the evaporator, and a significant difference between the compressor discharge temperature and the condenser inlet temperature, we may suspect that the system lacks refrigerant. 